A new bill to end the spring time change is moving forward in Nebraska's legislature. Three News Now reporter Ron, uh, excuse me, John Kipper joins us to tell us how the bill could become law. Yeah, Vanessa, whether it was purposeful or not, the legislature advanced a bill that seeks to eventually stop the practice of changing our clocks twice a year, just the day after we we're all forced to do it. Supporters say the benefits of keeping one time all year long time makes it a no brainer. Sitting here. I was Senators were still adjusting to the time change Monday morning. Looking at the clock right now, 10.33 on the wall, and my watch still says 9.33. Once they got their watches fixed and made their points, the unicameral easily advanced a bill to put Nebraska on permanent daylight saving time. I'm in support of just picking a time and let's leave it. Senator Tom Breesey cited numerous studies showing increased heart attacks, strokes, fatal car accidents, and lost economic activity after the time change. Between medical costs, sick days from heart attacks, strokes and car accidents, lost work days from workplace injuries, and simple decreased efficiency at work, the costs really begin to add up. A permanent move would only occur under two conditions, federal government approval and three border states passing similar bills. 18 states have already passed a bill, including Wyoming. Iowa's House passed one last week and is awaiting Senate approval. On the federal level, efforts by two senators, including Marco Rubio of Florida, would allow these states to go to permanent daylight saving. He said in a video statement his bill has bipartisan support. Let's just lock the clock once and for all and put all this stupidity behind us. If this all went through, we'd keep the time we're on right now permanently. So one extra hour of sunlight in the winter and one less hour of light in the mornings. That led some to worry that sunrise wouldn't come until after 8 a.m. in the winter making it tougher for kids to get to class. That is a significant problem for young people going to school and those activities that have to happen before you go do something at 8 o'clock in the morning. Breezy said that's a fixable problem. They can push their start time back a little bit if they are concerned about the lack of daylight in the morning. Now, past efforts at going to permanent standard time have failed in the legislature as many more people worry about losing an extra hour of sunlight in the summer hours. Now, the unicameral still needs to pass this twice more to get it on Governor Pete Ricketts' desk. Reporting in the newsroom, John Kipper, 3 News Now.